Welcome back to the show. We are so excited to have our CEO, Rago Ragoram, really to be our distinguished guest for uh, this broadcast live from Barcelona Mobile World Congress. So, Rago, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, Rago, I know this is, we are, we are VMware and we are really participating heavily in the Mobile World Congress. So, what's your thought and reflection on the, our participation as well, the role that we are doing for the telecommunication industry? Yeah, I mean, it's a very exciting show. This is after three years of pandemic, it seems to be at full attendance. You can see the, hear the buzz behind us. And we are here in full force. And there is so much excitement around uh, what we are talking about here and what the products that we are showing, whether it's uh, on the RAN edge, uh, RAN on the edge, in the core, uh, multi-cloud. In fact, every aspect of our portfolio is showcased here, and every aspect of our portfolio is uh, helping our telecommunications customers transform their business. Okay. We are one of the key agents of change as they transform their own business. Wow. And, and I know that we, we, we are now, as you said, like there is a big topic of ORAN, you know? Yeah. And, and the promises around this and also the... So, and we have been also rolling this out with key, uh, let's say, brave uh, operators that they want to go this way. Yeah, yeah. You know, can you share some insights on, on how this is, for example, with one of the customers, what we were doing with them? Yeah, so um, the customer that's been longest in production with uh, ORAN is uh, uh, the Dish Networks in the U.S. And by the middle of this year, they will have over 20,000 towers wow. and 70% of the country covered, right? And uh, it's giving them a level of programmability. It's giving them a le level of economics that uh, are very really, really hard for them to get. And most, most importantly, it's giving them a level of agility to roll out new services, mm -hmm. right? So they are doing this rollout at such an accelerated pace. It's never been seen before. And then secondly, I would say that the key thing in the industry today and the topic here, it's not just about the 5G technology and how it is deployed, right? It is about how do you monetize, wow. right? The beauty about the Zoran technology is because it's highly programmable and because you can deliver new services faster, mm -hmm. it provides a mechanism for service providers to monetize their 5G investments, right? In many different ways. Through the use of private networks, through the use of additional compute services, and through security services, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really the interesting aspect of this approach. Well, and Rango, just as, as in like the industry, you know, they're always like Dish is a greenfield operator in 5G space. Yeah. What about brownfield operations? So how they can benefit from this? You know, are they also in the same the same lineup with the same expectations? Yeah. So one of the key things to think about is it's um, our architectural approach, which is around disaggregation. Okay. Clearly, it works great for Ura, mm -hmm. but it works great for VLAN as well. Yeah. In fact, a lot of the traditional vendors are delivering VDAN-based solutions on top of our platform, right? And they're using integration technologies to connect the 4G side to the 5G side. Mm -hmm. The beauty of our approach is it's a software architecture, right? So you can have containerized functions, you can have virtual network functions, all of it tied together and deployed across the network. So, so that's the beauty of what we do. And we've got all these partners, whether it's Cohere, whether it's a lot of these partners that do the 4G, 5G conversions, uh, integrations. And I think, I think now, uh, and correct me, Raghu, you know, like you are in the middle of this, and you're working with, like when you work with Dish as well with the others who change the status quo. Is, is that something that, uh, you know, with this disaggregation, that the operators, they have to, to get back control of their architecture and their operations and integrations. How they are reacting to this compared to the use to outsource that risk to the NIPS or to someone else. So how do you see this risk appetite for the operators really to bring back these capabilities in-house? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's not really them versus their suppliers, okay. right? It's about can they have a modern architecture, right, that has native cloud principles that benefits from the economics of the cloud, that benefits from the agility and the flexibility. And do they have mechanisms to monetize it? Because these are serious, serious investments yes. involving lots of money, right? So the question is, how do they generate an economic return for themselves 
in all of these, right? That is fundamentally the problem that VMware is addressing, and that is why they're excited. Yes, the architecture is important, but it's a means to an end. Yes. And the means to an end is lower capex, higher monetization. That is really what this is about. And, and this is real, yeah? So it's real, and, and I think the operators that they embrace it, they gain, they gain the benefit and they are expanding, right? Yep, exactly. Because we allow them to use the everything from the RAM tower all the way to the cloud provider, right? To deploy their infrastructure, deploy their services, and deliver things that nobody else can deliver. Okay. Right? Uh, and, and how is the ecosystem? Are they collaborating? Are we, let's say, uh, subscribe to the VMware vision that you are you are you are putting in, in that space? Yeah, one of the key reasons we were successful long ago in the data center was because of our work with the ecosystem. Right. Okay. We used to say that for every dollar of VMware license, mm -hmm. partners generated anywhere between eleven to fifteen dollars of, wow. <laughs> of uh, opportunity. We see that happening now in the service provider place, right? For every dollar of our telco software, we see service providers, we see uh, telco ISVs, we see infrastructure players, we see <coughs> um, every category, service uh, SIs, SIs, all of them being able to gain economically. That's all the leading telco network functions are certified on our platform. So we have all the industry giants like the Samsungs and the Nokias and the Ericsons that are working with us. We have all the startups as well. You saw all of the XApp and the R app startups. So everybody from the startup to the large ecosystem uh, players are able to do this. So so this is the openness. This is the platform yep. that yep. we provide for yep. changing the status quo of the industry. Yep. Yeah. So, Rago, thank you for being with us today and always a uh, privilege to give the insights to our viewers as well to our listeners. And really thank you for being with us. I really appreciate thank it. You. Thank you so much. All right.